this game, because there is actual like gameplay footage in this and they're actually like, talking about the game, uh, it now officially exists to me. Allow is now live in our internal play tests with this early draft of her model and kit. Oof. Did I just see someone air tech? Allow is now live in our internal. That looks like air teching to me. Right now, the team is focused on fully realizing her combat fantasy as a big body brawler. Dude, this is, oh, I'm telling you, look, can I be, can I be like the Street Fighter, uh, you remember going into Street Fighter 5? The boomers are taking over. We're going to show you what real fundamentals are. I see air attacking. Listen, everything Guilty Gear Strive and those shitty ass dead blogs has taught me, if they taught me anything, it's that zoomers hate air attacking. And as soon as I saw it, this, we, we just got a real game, fellas. We just got a real game. And on top of that, many champions have their own unique air mobility options. All right, so my first thought when I saw the game like moving, it looked at first kind of slow, but then when you and see them that, doing shit like this, fucking marble dashes. So I wonder if that means like dashes will be canceled in like crouch block or some shit to where you can kind of like chain dash or something like that, you know? Own unique air mobility options. Back dashes look fast. There's some kind of back dash cancel. And on or top of that, like yeah, you, jump, you can see long it. jump and super jump. Yeah, it looked slow at first, but I think when people's movement tightens up, especially if it stays loose like this, this game's gonna like get pretty fast. Cause when they're doing strings and attacks, it looks pretty smooth, you know? Especially like speed wise. We want you to have powerful buttons which are useful in a number of ways. I wonder well, also you you know, given how this is going to shake up, especially with, like, it's an assist-based game and stuff, and they go into that, the assist system is pretty... It's pretty developed, man. It's pretty robust. It seems like every character... I wonder if they're still going to have multiple assists, but at minimum, if a character only has one assist attack, there's variations on it or ways you can control it, you know? Like, that already is kind of a big deal. You know, it took me a long time to understand Jinx, but I get it. People like her because they have the like, oh, I can fix her. Yes, I know she's a murderer and batshit crazy, but I can fix, it's the I can fix her type thing, right? That's the fixation. You can't fix her, man. She doesn't want, she doesn't want to be saved, bro. Assist actions are your bread and butter, and each champion has two they can perform from off screen. You can even hold the input to get a charge assist. Yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. The fact that you can have a variation on the one you have. Handshake tag lets you There's a button layout leak. I don't know about a leak, but in the last video, they showed some of the uh, the button. People kind of pieced it together based off of what they showed. Dynamic save lets you call your assist champion on screen in an attempt to save your point champion. If successful, the results can be explosive. The cool thing about burst system is that you can use it it works when like you need to use it right but what's cool is from the defensive end when players are able to make read on burst habits and be able to like make a play off that any kind of comeback system or like whatever you like combo breaker mechanic where you can't do that falls short and it, it ultimately to me doesn't capture what's really exciting about that exchange in that moment when a good burst works out that's great you get some kind of advantage right but when you have it to where you can't just do it and it blows back full screen or whatever, right? When the, the other player has an opportunity to be able to make a read on it and call you out for that. That's all like guilty gear grabbing someone's burst. Grabbing a burst is stupid as fuck in most cases. A lot of times you just want to block it and then punish it. But there's something very satisfying about grabbing someone's burst like that. Like, oh, I knew you were going to do that then. When comeback mechanics are mechanics that kind of copy the burst kind of style, but they don't allow for that. It feels kind of flat to me. But that's all. So it's cool that they have it like this, where the player on the other but end can make a about timing your dynamic you know, play on it because it can be countered if you're being. You too can't just do it. You actually have to be like, yeah. There's still more to uncover you actually have about to our be gameplay, but that's all we're ready pretty to pointed show for about now. the opportunity that Thanks you for watching, trigger. and I'll hand things back to Tom to say goodbye. I don't know. Just seeing the game in motion, seeing like a na the natural speed of it, you know. Even the way combos are. It I'm definitely more interested than I was before. Even like before last year, you know? Yeah, it looks kind of floaty, but it's also not done yet either. You know, that's the thing is like pacing and stuff like that. Sometimes it depends on the game, the way it looks early, early on and the way the, the speed and flow of it, once it gets 
you know, in your hands in a beta or something like that can sometimes be like a really, really what can be, be a big difference. I keep it in the back of your head right now, but I would, I would wait until it's closer until you can see it like it with more polish and, uh, once it's really fleshed out. Yeah, I don't know where people say no, no soul. If you listen to the sound effects, it sounds like a lot of them are like stock. There's no voice acting yet, stuff like that. Once they start adding stuff like that, I think it'll feel a little bit more fleshed out for people. I guess something that I want to say is I really like this format for how they're sharing information about the game. I, I think this does way better for me as somebody interested in it. This does a lot more to make me excited and kind of make me interested in the process of making the game than any of these 50 second trailers with three seconds of gameplay footage. Uh, it's like multifaceted too. I, I really appreciate them being able to sit down and explain their perspective on certain ideas. Like it's, it sounds really cheesy, but being able to assign a face to the game, like damn, these are the people actually making it. It, it has an effect, dude, it does a lot, it, 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 it works out. I hope they do more of these. I don't, they don't need to increase the frequency dramatically, but if they were a little bit more frequent, I think it would it would, it would go a, a little ways, I think, for, for, for build up. I'd like to see a little bit more, but I really like this format overall, and I hope they keep doing it. People have been talking about everything this game is gonna do, everything it's, it's gonna like, it's gonna save Will and Jada's marriage. It, like, it's gonna do all this shit, and it's, it's gonna, it's gonna figure out how to, you know, space travel and bottled water and like food show, like it's gonna it's gonna do everything. But like we haven't even really seen the game or know too much about it. But at least now I think like that you can kind of look at some footage of it kind of being played in a you know, at least in a, like a natural pace or whatever. It It looks it look I don't know. I'm curious to see how it goes down. It looks great though. It looks good to me. That's just me though. What do you guys think? I'll holler at y'all in the comments. I'll catch y'all next time.